With electrical behind us, it's time for the next step in our build. That's going to be a huge project for this summer. But before we go all in on the next big project, we have to wrap up a few loose ends. I'm just going to tear these down. We complete those small tasks, and it's finally time to take our work back outside. You're going to see a huge transformation. This next part of the build is requiring some major math skills, so thank goodness we have Cameron on our side. I did go to a university preparatory school. Follow along as we break ground on our wraparound deck and see if we have what it takes to build a solid structure. Solid like rock. Solid like a rock. rock, 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 rock. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. Look up at the sky. Like, light up the sky. Then I'll get far from myself. Like, do it in front of you, though. All right, we are back in the workspace and we were just going over what our plan is gonna be for the day. Today's goal is to get some, hopefully the rest of our switches and outlets into place. And then also we hope to start mapping out our deck plan today. That's gonna to be a huge project for the summer. It encompasses our whole wraparound deck and then two covered decking areas. So it's a big project, but we're hoping that with Cameron's help, it's one we can tackle no problem and have it in place before the rain comes back our way. And we have a few things that we need to fix that we got called out on our inspection. Just two light boxes that need to be fan rated. So Ryan's gonna get those done today. And then we have two small walls that are up in our loft area that I'm gonna go up and start working on now. We actually got them partially built last week. So that should be a really quick thing. So it is a busy, busy day here and we have some fun projects coming our way. All right, last week I started putting together this half wall that's going to go back behind our other half wall in our loft and it needs to have an access door so we can crawl back into the storage spaces we've created. When I put it together, I totally forgot the access door. Luckily it's only screwed in place. So I'm gonna take out one of the studs, move it over, create that door space and then get this into place and we'll have one tiny project marked off today. Yep. 2019, Sarah couldn't have done that. Like Sarah mentioned, we only got called out on our rough and inspection for electrical on a couple of items, which I was extremely happy about because I was anticipating that we were gonna have to go through and make a number of corrections. So the only thing that we have to redo and send a picture of to the inspector is these, this box up here. We added these, so no fault of the designers uh, Conestoga. We decided to add these center lights in, uh, in addition to the sconce lights that go around the sides of the room. I guess there's a new code addition that says that any of the lights that'll, that'll, that'll contain an overhead fixture in a bedroom will require to have a fan rated box, and we did not put up fan rated boxes. So, I'm just gonna tear these down and put the new ones up that we got and then send that off to the inspector so we're good to cover. Got that old box out of the ceiling. I got my new fan rated one here and I'm gonna put that up and then we'll be all square with code.
Ooh, solid. Solid like rock. Solid like a rock. rock, 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 rock. Okay, I have been slowly chipping away at this other half wall today, right down here. I think I finally have it all put together and I'm gonna get it into place. I only needed minimal help from Cameron and Ryan, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, so let's see if it actually fits into place. I tested it, so fingers crossed. It's totally gonna fit. I just need to take out the brace that I put in that we're gonna nail it into and move it up a little bit higher, which is no big deal. So this wall was a really big pain because we had to make it slanted down on this side to match the the um, the 12, 12 pitch of the roof. And it just really gave me so many problems. Now you know, it's in, it's gonna go in, so yay. <laughs> Laser level is six inches higher. How far down to get to the to get to the concrete? We'll see. Can you help? I think maybe. That sounds like concrete. Alright, that would be number three. All right, we are working on the deck today. Ryan and Cameron are getting ready to set all of the posts and we have our post brackets in place. You just saw Ryan actually spreading out the hole inside of washers. It is because the post brackets we have wouldn't allow us to use the correct size washer that we needed. So we needed to spread out the hole. That's done. So now I think we're really ready to start figuring out exactly where our posts are gonna go and get this deck to start taking shape, which is gonna be so cool to see happen like i'm super excited for this project because it's not gonna be like electrical where you see this teeny tiny transformation you're gonna see a huge transformation so we'll take you along for the ride it's really heavy Hey, get in there and assist, Cameron. Not me. Yeah. 
52. Minus six. Okay. What'd you say? 52 minus six? Mm-hmm. 46. Cameron went to something called university. I did go to a university preparatory school. Oh. So that's, that's a little different. That's where you learned all this Canadian math. Nothing to do with construction. <laughs> Fifty-five minus six, forty-nine. You understand that? He's so fast with math. Ten fifty of Yeah, you're not gonna be everybody's favorite character if you're not in there being crazy, chipping away at things. We are up this morning and we were working on the deck. After having a little bit of a slow start in getting our materials and kind of getting our post pattern set. We are working on doing the ledger board this morning and Sarah is off taking uh, one of our kids to the doctors. So it's just Cameron and I here today and we are nailing in that ledger board. And you can see behind me, we have some of those posts already kind of faux set. So then once we get the ledger board set up, we'll start connecting joists and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, we just got done doing as much as we could do with our posts. We're waiting on our wood delivery on Monday and some supplies for our Sarah so that we can epoxy the last holes for the post to be anchored into. So since we have a few hours left in the day, we're going to try and get our outside lights up, mounted and wired. And I mean, it's a small thing, but every little step we take gets us closer and closer to being done. What's going on with your drill collection there? <laughs> well, thankfully you have two brands and I, I brought a third brand, so I don't have to change a single bit. I can go from this one to this one to that one. <laughs> All different brands. <laughs> okay, I just stepped onto the work site for the day. I just got back from an appointment with one of our kids and the guys are getting ready to set some of the bolts in holes that we created yesterday. The bolts came out of the um, pillars that were poured for us for our foundation company. Yeah. They either broke off or there was like one where they just didn't put them on just because they knew they just couldn't get them set in the right spot. So we're, we got the holes done and now we've got all the ways to clean them out properly so then we can set them with epoxy 
and keep this project moving forward as much as we can. Hey, we were missing you too now. because it could have been you could have held one end, I could hold yeah. the other, and then he could screw it. So we kind of had to like prop it up on one end, and then I held the other, and he screwed it. So well, we I were think, missing you. I yep. think I would have rather been building than mobbing. <laughs> that makes me sound terrible. <laughs> Face. Oh God, I didn't do that. Yeah, that would have been bad. And 